The following program was brought to you by the Alltech Media Group. The Alltech Media Group has been serving the Southern California business community for over 30 years with professional, high-quality multimedia marketing and advertising services. For more information on their products and services, visit alltechmedia.com. Hello and welcome to this edition of Southern California CEO Magazine. I'm your host, Dwight Cromie. I recently had the opportunity to accompany Cornet Global on a tour of the new 1.8 million square foot Skechers Distribution Center. This facility to date is the largest LEED certified building in the country. Everything from the building's construction to the robotics inside had been thoroughly planned in accordance with modern green standards. I got a chance to speak with the developer, Ido Benzivi, about the amazing work behind this enormous structure and how it will affect the local economy. I'm here with Ido Benzivi, the CEO of Highland Fairview. Ido, can you tell me, what did it take to create this distribution center? Well, it took a lot of, uh, to begin with, a lot of ingenuity because there's a lot of new technologies that are incorporated into this building. Uh, first, it is the largest building of its kind in the United States. Most significantly, it will be the largest uh, green building, lead certified building in the country. But it also has the most advanced automation and robotics systems in, in incorporated into a, a building uh, like that. So uh, getting all those technologies together and inter integrating all those, including the construction process itself, which required much higher standards than uh, conventional construction you see in most buildings were essentially the, the, the key elements that were in place in order for us to be able to execute this building. What were some of the unique things that you've done with this building that have never been done before? Well, the size of it in and of itself, there's all, over 81 million cubic feet of capacity in the building. This 1.8, over 1.8 million square foot building has the same capacity as about 2.6 million square feet of conventional buildings you see all around in Ontario, Fontana and all over. Well, what are the significant benefits to Skechers to bring a facility this large to this area? Well, their needs do over. They, they are consolidating from five facilities into this one and tremendously improving their productivity. So the five facilities combined had the capacity of moving about five to 7,000 uh, products an hour. This will do about 20,000 in 1.8 million square feet. Uh, the end result of which, between the uh, energy savings and, and the systems in the building, they will yield about $25 million of annual operating savings compared to their existing structure. And what kind of impact do you think that this building has or will have for this region, especially Marina Valley and the, and the county of Riverside? Well, the fiscal impact the county has uh, indicated to us, informed us that they've done a fiscal impact analysis and it showed $194 million of annual economic benefit to the region. So it is quite significant in terms of uh, the, the impacts that the community will benefit from. And I understand your firm is looking to develop similar size distribution centers. What does this region offer other companies like Skechers as far as being, being able to create these types of distribution centers? Well, first of all, what you see around you, uh, Skechers is the first building of what uh, will be a 40 million square foot a corporate park facility that we're developing here. And uh, it's mostly for the next generation, large footprint, highly efficient automated uh, systems uh, for logistics. But generally, you know, we're in the right part of the world. You know, this is the Pacific century. All the trade is coming from Asia. And LA and Long Beach are the primary port of entry into the Western United States, uh, taking in 40 to 50% of all goods coming into America. So the region is well located You from this area within an hour of every major market in Southern California and within the overnight tracking to the 11 western states. So uh, it's a phenomenal location. And the county and the cities, uh, clearly in today's economic times, some are struggling more than others. But the economic impacts that these facilities uh, produce are, are going to enable the county and the city uh, to return and come back with incentives and different programs. Did the county help you at all in, in moving the process forward, trying to be a, a mediator between yourself and the city? 
Well, not so much a mediator, but they, they provide a lot of assistance. They got it. Uh, the county has done a phenomenal job. Uh, based on our schedule, uh, we required uh, Sunday inspections. And as you know, the county is not open on Fridays, Saturdays or on Sundays. I've uh, asked the Board of Supervisors, and particularly Chairman uh, Ashley, if uh, we could uh, have inspections on Sunday. He didn't take him but an hour to come back with a positive response and say uh, you would have inspections on Sunday. While his people were working here on Sunday, he came here at 6 o'clock in the morning, we see on site, out here with the county people to show that uh, if he makes them work, he's going to be out here as well. So that was a very nice uh, gesture of him. What did it take to put a deal like this together with Sketcher? I mean, I know you work with CBLS, but it must have been quite a bit to put that together. Well, you can imagine a very large transaction, a lot of pieces, uh, a lot of different parts have to fit together. So clearly it involves a lot of discussion, negotiations. But most importantly is, is everybody was focused on, on, on the right destination, the right target. And we clearly knew what they wanted to achieve and we focused like a laser delivering to them. So that made the process uh, much easier and, and we streamlined what could have taken months and months to achieve. We, we actually did fairly quickly. I'm here with Lisa Brando with the EDA. Lisa, can you tell me what does the Sketcher plant mean to the county? It means jobs. Uh, number one priority of Riverside County uh, for our Board of Supervisors is creating jobs for the local community. This is a fantastic facility that will create jobs for this area in Riverside County and enhance the sales tax base for Riverside County. Now this is what, from my, what I understand the largest lead building in the entire nation. How does that affect attracting other businesses to this region? This will attract other businesses uh, because Riverside County is very uh, proactive for LEED certified buildings. Uh, it provides discounts for their manufacturing and electrical and utility costs and it will provide uh, more job opportunities. They can, it's a, it's a more, it, it, it's, it provides a better location, locality for saving money on their manufacturing expenses and that's how we hope to attract companies to move here to Riverside County. Well, let me ask you, companies like Sketcher looking to build facilities like this plant, what type of space is still available within the county? There are plenty of uh, opportunities throughout Riverside County for commercial and industrial space. We have a team within Riverside County EDA that will help businesses locate their facilities, their headquarters to Riverside County. We have a large database of different facilities that are available for those that are looking to move to Riverside County. Lisa, what would you say to businesses looking for Riverside County? What does it offer that no, nowhere else does? What we offer are four foreign trade zones in Riverside County. This is uh, unprecedented. We are the largest county that has the most foreign trade zones. We're very act proactive in attracting businesses that want to export out. We have a lot of EB-5 centers. We work very closely with the Governor's Office of Economic Development. And we also have a very active foreign trade zones. So what we have are a variety of tools that can bring private businesses to locate here in Riverside County. I'm here with Francis Pollock with Herman Miller. Francis, can you tell me what role does Herman Miller have with Cornette? It's a very good question. We are a global sponsor of Cornette Global, uh, not only here in the States, but obviously across the world, and uh, currently participate in the organization due to its value and the benefits it brings to our organization dealing with corporate real estate executives um, all over the world. Well, I understand this is a going to be a lead silver building. A lot of your furniture goes into companies being lead lead qualified, correct? That is. We actually are the pioneer and actually a founder of the USGBC, which is the U.S. Green Building Council. So a lot of our um, practices and a lot of uh, design firm the environment initiatives go through all of our manufacturing processes. With regards to this right now, my understanding is we're not completely outfitted with furniture, so hopefully if there's an opportunity for Herman Miller, we'll be all over it. The following program was brought to you by the Alltech Media Group. The Alltech Media Group has been serving the Southern California business community for over 30 years with professional, high-quality multimedia marketing and advertising services. For more information on their products and services, visit alltechmedia.com.